Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Deep Code question 427 that says construct quadri. So this question is a bit difficult to understand at first sight, but after watching this video, I will make sure that you understand each bit, each line of this question and also the solution. So yeah, without wasting much of our time, let's begin with the question. So here you would be given one n cross n matrix that contains only zeros and ones, only these two numbers, zero and one. And we need to represent this given matrix or grid with the help of quadri. And we need to return the root of quadri representing the grid. Okay. Now uh, here each node has some uh, value and is left. See, there are two properties for the. We will discuss this line afterwards. See, a quadri is a tree data structure where each internal node has four children, and beside each node has two attributes. So a node in a quadri is represented by two attributes. One is value val, val and second is is left. So val is uh, true if the node is represented in a grid of one. It falls if a node represents in a, a grid of 0. That means if a grid value is 0, then this value is, also, is false. And if it is 1, then this value is true. So this val is also a boolean. As you can see here, that val is what? Boolean. And also is leaf is boolean. Is leaf is as simple as that. That uh, if it is a leaf node, then is leaf is true as false. Okay. Uh, and yeah, and we need to construct the quad trim. Uh, from two dimension two dimensional grid we are given okay now here if the current grid has same value same value that means all the all the cells of the current grid are ones or zeros okay then it's that is left to true that means if a if a current grid has same value then we make this current grid as leaf okay this line states that we make the current grid as a leaf node okay and set the value as a value of the grid okay so that so since the all the cells of the grid has same value that is either one or zero we set the uh, this val according to one or zero that means either true or false and we make all the children to null and stop okay so this thing says that when when the current grid has same value then we make this uh, make that as a leaf node and we stop simple as it is and if a current grid has different value then set is leaf to false and set value to any to any that means either 0 or 1 to any value and divide the current grid into four subgrid as shown in the photo so let's say this is your current grid initially this complete is a current grid now if this current grid whole grid has different values that a mixture of zeros and ones like some zero some one in, in such a case what you have to do you for this current grid make is leaf to false okay and set value to any either true or false any value and then divide this current grid into four subgrids okay so this was the current grid and then you divide it into four subgrids this is top left top right bottom left and bottom right correct and it recurs for each children of the proper subgrid then again for each uh, subgrid recurs and find its and check are, are all the values of this top left same if not same then again divide it into one two three four correct so that's why we recurs for each children got it got this line Okay, and yeah, we skip one line uh, uh, ahead that uh, notice that you can assign any value to the to the node true or false if leaf is false. So is leaf is false. That means if a node is a not a leaf node, if it is not a leaf node, then we can assign any value to the uh, to that node. Means we can assign anything to this val if is leaf is false, and both are acceptable either true or false. So, so this line states that only. Okay, now for the, the quadri format. So it says that the output represents the serial format of a quadri using label order traversal where null signifies a path terminator where no node exists below. Uh, see, these things uh, I will explain you by taking this example. So for this, uh, for this given grid 0, 1, 1, 0, we need to represent in a quadri. Okay, so as you can see that here we have a mixture of 1 and 0, correct? So this complete can't be one node. So that's why if we make is leaf as zero, let me take a pen. So see this complete here, this complete is a mixture of zeros and one. So we can't make this as the leaf node, correct? So we made is leaf as zero and we can take anything for well, either zero or one, anything. And whenever we have a mixture, then we divide it into four. That is top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. This is top left this is the uh, top right this is bottom left and this is bottom right correct now 
in this top left uh, all these values is same means uh, already it is only one cell so the values remain the same here so we make the value as its value of the grid and is leaf is one means this is now the leaf node similarly for the top right top right value is one so we make values one and we mark it as a lift same for bottom left and bottom right so this is the complete uh, representation of a quad ray for this given grid and now we need to return the output so how we will return the output in a label order this is label one then this is label two and from left to right and at each and, and for each node we have two properties that is is leaf and where so we return this way okay this is for the root node then is child one child two child three child four as you guys see these are the four childs so this is how we need to return the output and the same thing is written uh, over here given over here okay got it so yeah now let's take a look at this example for better understanding so here initially this hole is a complete one grid hole is a complete one grid correct and this whole grid has a mixture of ones and zeros as you can see there are some one there are some zeros here so so that's why we we can't take the whole as a leaf node and we mark each leaf as zero and value can be any either one or zero okay now after doing this we take four different cells that is the top left cell uh, the top right cell bottom left cell and bottom right cell we take four different cells correct because this this current this whole matrix initially was a mixture of one and zeros and if you have some such type of mixture we divide into uh, sub sub uh, matrix or subgrids that has top left top right bottom left and bottom right and of each of equal size yeah not that each of equal size so top left so as you can see the all the cells of this top left matrix are same since all are same we can make this as a leaf node and terminate so yeah that's why we set is lift as one and value as one because all the cells have same value one so that's why we set value as one and is lift as two we mark this as a leaf node correct simple as it is now if you check for the top right so now the top right has again a mixture of um, zeros and ones right as you can see some are zeros some are ones so we again need to divide this top right into a uh, child like top left top right bottom left and bottom right yeah so the same thing we are doing here this top right has a mixture of zeros and ones and that's why we can't make it as leaf node so we set is lift to zero value can be any either one or zero and we again made four children for that right the, the top left children top right bottom left and bottom right now in the top left as you can see this all four cells has the same value since it has the same value we can mark this as a leaf node it has the same value so we can mark it as a leaf node so that's why we mark it as a leaf node to true and value is zero as all are zero Similarly, for top right, we mark this as a lift as all values are same. That is zero. For bottom left, all values are same. That are all ones. Uh, so we can make this as a, as a lift node. And same for bottom right. So I hope you guys understood that how we are doing this, right? How why this uh, we have four children for only this node because it has mixture of some zeros and ones. Now if you check for bottom left, this is the bottom left, correct? This whole complete. This is the bottom left. And for this bottom left, all the values are same. That is all are ones here. So that's why we can mark this as a leaf node and the value is one is leaf is true and value is all one so one and similarly for bottom right this bottom right we can again mark this as a leaf node because all values are same and since all values are same uh, we mark this as leaf and our value is zero set to zero because all are zeros okay so the only thing is that if if is leaf is false then we can take anything as a value either one or zero because we have mixtures of one and zero yeah as you can see mixtures of one and zero but if the, all the values are same then we will mark value as the value of the grid correct so this question is a simple now see uh, first thing check for values in current grid okay now if you here you have two option right the second party has two option all values same and here mixture of zeros and ones okay here you have two option now if all the values are same then mark uh, grid as leaf so you will mark is leaf to true and value to value of grid or value of cells of grid because all are same now here you have mixtures of zeros and one then what you will do you will divide into four chain that is top left top right bottom left 
and bottom right. Now for each sub children or sub matrix, you will again check for this. Now after this, you will again go to step one, step one. Yeah, for again for the same step one, step one, and step one. And this is where this is where recursion occurs. That you again go for the step one again check if are the all the values same. If not, then again divide. If not, then again divide it into four. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and go again go to step one. So this is where the recursion occurs. And also in the question that it is state that if the current grid has different values and in that case recurs for each children uh, of a proper subgrid and find the answer. So this is where the recursion occurs. So simple the question is simple uh, that we for a current grid we need to check for this two condition. If this is the case then we divide it into four children. We mark uh, for this uh, we mark is leaf is equal to false. We simply mark is leaf as false value to either zero or one. It doesn't matter zero or one, and we and we divide it into four children and again do a recursion. Simple as it is. So yeah, the approach for this is simple that we have discussed currently. And now let's look at the coding part where we will discuss this in a detail. So here this is the basic structure of a quad tree that uh, it's given here. Now uh, here this is the function that we have. So here we are passing four parameters to the construct quad tree. So one is the grid and second is the starting of the row, ending of the row starting of column and ending of column and always this would be a square grid okay so square grid that's why we would be able to divide into four grids correct this this is a square grid as always as you can see n cross n it is a square now okay now the now here in this construct wet trim we have this base condition that if row start is greater than row n or our column start is greater than column n then we simply return null okay now we initialize is lift to true initially we initialize it is lift to true and we uh, store this well as the first cell this is the first cell, row start and column start correct this is the first cell of the grid now we check for all the cell in the current grid if the values are equal to one well this uh, this is the first cell if all the values are same then what we do uh, then we simply return a node with a well and true true means it is a leaf node correct node has two properties one well and second is leaf so we return is leaf to true and well as the values in the current grid and if in the case that if grid of ij is not equal to well, that means we have mixtures of 1 and 0. So initially if it would be 0, then here we found 1. Or if initially it was 1, then here we have found 0. So somewhere it is a mixture of 0s and 1. So in that case, we make is leaf to false. So that node can't be a leaf node. And for that case, we have to traverse for four children. That is top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. This thing we are doing here for a mixture of 0s and 1. And yeah, this is row mate and column mate just to make four partitions See, initially it was a complete grid so this was the complete grid as you discussed this uh, top right now it was a mixture so we made partition for this like for row mate and column mate and we to uh, to create four sub grids for for the current grid so we made partition row mate and column mate and we constructed quad tree again yeah right we constructed quad tree again and we return a node so we return a node that uh, and this uh, this, uh, this this root node has what? This root node has is leaf as false. So is leaf is uh, false. Value can be any. Value can be any. And it has four children. That is top left, top right, bottom left, one, bottom right. So we return this top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right for this type of uh, node, which which has mixture of zeros and one. So yeah, I hope you guys understood the code here uh, that we are checking with uh, checking for all the children if we have mixtures of zeros and ones. And otherwise, if all are the same, then we directly return here the node with a value n as a true. It won't have any such uh, children, correct? So yeah, this is how the uh, recursive solution will work. Now talking about the time complexity. See here, how many total number of um, in the worst case, how many total number of cells are there? In total number of cells are there n square. So in the worst case, our time complexity would be big O of n square into log of n. Why log of n? See, here we are doing a recursion and log of n times we have to, at the max log of n times we have to call for recursive. This many times we have to make recursive call and since here we are checking for n square uh, grid, so that's why it's n square log of n, correct? And the space complexity here would be big of log of n. Uh, this because this many times uh, the recursive call will occur, correct? So yeah, that's for the time and space complexity. 
uh, and yeah that's all for this video i hope you guys understood the question see the main thing here was to understand the question and the approach once you have understood the both question and the approach then it's simple for you to write the code for this it is it was uh, very much simple if you have understood the question so yeah and if you have still any doubts then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you